Six animals that could defeat a Cape Buffalo. You want a dangerous combination? Take an animal that is notoriously ill-tempered, have it stand five and a half feet tall at the shoulders, put two big horns on its head, and clock it in at 2,000 pounds. Sounds like a science experiment? It's not. We just described the Cape Buffalo. These animals are primarily grass eaters, but if you get too close and are perceived as a threat, watch out. Especially a wounded one. A wounded buffalo is considered one of the most dangerous animals in all of Africa. They also travel in large herds of 50 to 500 in order to protect themselves, so a herd of Cape Buffalo is fairly impenetrable. But even having said all of that, let's say one Cape Buffalo strayed from the herd. He's all alone. He's still dangerous, but is he invincible? Or are there animals that could defeat him if given the chance? Lions. The first African animal to come to mind for you may have been the lion, and that would be a great assumption by you. Lions already do hunt buffalo for food. However, Cape buffalo are the largest of all the African buffalo species, and lions often hunt in their pride, which consists of several of them. They often go for the younger buffalo, too. But that doesn't mean one lion couldn't take on one full-grown Cape buffalo, because they often have done exactly that. Male lions are larger, usually between 9 to 10 feet long, and weighing close to 500 pounds. And though that is about a quarter of the weight of the Cape Buffalo, a solitary male lion could still take him down. Lions are fast, strong, and agile. The lion would just need to get the right angle, attack the Cape Buffalo from behind, and he could bring it down. And could a female lion do the same? Absolutely, even though they tend to be smaller, 7 to 8 feet long and about 350 pounds. Females are the more trained hunters when it comes to lions. They possess the skill set, and a cornered Cape buffalo can be dangerous, but a hungry lion face to face with its prey, that's more dangerous. African Wild Dogs we have a representative from the cat family, how about from the dog family? Well, the largest wild dogs in Africa are African wild dogs. However, in contrast to the cats and dogs that are typical pets, wild cats tend to be much larger than wild dogs. African wild dogs tend to be about 43 inches in height, 30 inches tall at shoulder height, and can be about 80 pounds. Yes, the 80-pound dog is quite a bit smaller than the 500-pound lion, and much smaller than the 2,000-pound Cape Buffalo. But African wild dogs are almost never found alone. They travel in packs that are usually large in numbers. It could be as few as five of them, but it could be as many as 20. When these dogs hunt together, it's all of them at once. They usually hunt at dusk or dawn, and with their excellent sight, locate their prey. They run after the chase and cause it to flee, but not with the goal of attacking it immediately. They want to chase their prey for a while until it tires out, and then they go for the kill. All of them. Twenty of them. Imagine a pack of these wild dogs chasing a Cape Buffalo until it is too tired to run fast, and then twenty of them, though undersized, all attack at once. The 2,000 pounds is an advantage over 80 pounds, but not when it's 80 pounds times 20 bodies, and 20 mouths filled with sharp teeth. If a pack of wild dogs used this same method to attack a Cape Buffalo together, they could absolutely take one down. Crocodiles Speaking of sharp teeth, how about a crocodile? If a Cape Buffalo came across a crocodile, it would be in a lot of trouble in most cases. Now, if the situation was that the Cape Buffalo saw a Nile crocodile out on the land, if there was room to run, the Cape Buffalo could most likely get away. Although Nile crocodiles can run 22 miles per hour, Cape Buffalo can run up to 37 miles per hour. But if the situation were that the two were in close quarters, or near the water or in the water, the crocodile would have an advantage. Crocodiles strike fast, and if a Cape Buffalo was in its vicinity, the striking jaws of a crocodile are faster than most animals' reactions. Adult male Nile crocodiles can reach up to 16 feet long and can exceed 1,500 pounds. It's not as heavy as the Cape Buffalo, but it's in the same weight class. 
If a crocodile that big gets its jaws on something, there isn't much that's escaping. Sure, the Cape Buffalo has horns for self-defense, but if the croc latches on before the buffalo has a chance to deploy its defense with its horns, they won't be able to do much at all. Elephants So far we've detailed some predators in Africa, but what about a fellow herbivore? Cape Buffalo are herbivores, as are elephants. So neither one is going to be trying to eat the other one, but that doesn't mean the two couldn't face off in a battle. Reminder, Cape Buffalo are said to be ill-tempered and dangerous, and they're large, 2,000 pounds. But they're nowhere near the size of an adult elephant. African elephants are the largest land animals on the planet. The height of their shoulders is between 10 to 13 feet. They can weigh anywhere between 4,000 to 14,000 pounds. That means even the smallest adult male African elephant is twice the weight of a Cape Buffalo, and most of them would be more like four times or five times the weight. That's a serious weight advantage. Now, most elephants don't go out looking for fights, but if they sense a threat, they can become very aggressive. With that massive size and those huge tusks that they sport, they can do a lot of damage. And don't let the size fool you, they can run up to 25 miles per hour. Once something that size decides to charge you, and it gets going, Cape Buffalo or not, you are likely going to get flattened. Hyenas Moving on to another animal common to many parts of sub-Saharan Africa, the hyena. This is another meat-eating predator that is undersized in comparison to the Cape Buffalo. But if hyenas are undersized, does that mean they couldn't defeat a Cape Buffalo? No, in fact, a battle between the two could go one way or another. The buffalo obviously has those deadly horns and can swing its weight around in violent fashion. But the hyenas would know this, and hyenas are always in packs. Sometimes it could be six hyenas, but they've been spotted in the dozens, even over a hundred. Now, even if we were talking about just six hyenas together, which is common, they'd present a formidable opponent to the Cape Buffalo. They're about five feet in length each, standing close to three feet tall at the shoulder, and can weigh up to 170 pounds. Now picture six of them working together, surrounding a Cape Buffalo from all angles. Hyenas are clever animals, especially when working together. No doubt, the Cape Buffalo would do some damage to some of the hyenas in a battle, but while it was distracted with one, the others could pounce. Again, this battle could go either way, but the hyenas would have an advantage of being able to attack from all angles and wear the buffalo down over time. Additionally, hyenas have extremely powerful bites and strong teeth. They've been known to chew through steel cages. So buffalo hide would be nothing compared to that. Rhinos And yet another herbivore steps up to the plate. The rhino. How would this leaf eater compare to the Cape Buffalo? Well, there are white rhinos and black rhinos. The black rhinos are a bit smaller, about five and a half feet tall at the shoulders, same as the Cape Buffalo. The lighter ones weigh about 2,000 like the Cape Buffalo, but the bigger ones can be 3,000 pounds. The larger white rhinos can stand six and a half feet tall at the shoulders, taller than most people and taller than Cape Buffalo. They're 11 to 15 feet long. The small ones weigh 3,000 and the big ones weigh 7,000 pounds. Just as you're starting to think, okay, these rhinos are all larger than the Cape Buffalo in basically every way, maybe the buffalo has some other advantages if the two were to fight. Cape Buffalo have the horns on their heads. Well, rhinos have horns on their faces that are just as lethal, and their defense is magnificent. They have a thick layer of protective skin formed from layers of collagen one to two inches thick. There isn't a ton penetrating that. And just when you think the rhinos are bigger, heavier, thicker, then maybe the Cape Buffalo will be faster and more agile and able to use that in its favor. Sure, the Cape Buffalo is faster, but not by all that much. Rhinos can run at speeds of over 30 miles per hour. If this were a video game, the rhino excels at weight, size, and defense. Its offensive attack would be comparable, if not better. The only area the Cape Buffalo wins is in speed, and just barely. 
If you look at all the factors, the rhino is a deadlier threat. They only want to eat plants. But if they feel threatened, they will absolutely attack. And if a rhino squared off with a Cape Buffalo, you could be certain he'd defeat him. The Cape Buffalo, a gigantic animal of Africa, an animal you don't want to mess with. You, a human. But if you were any of the six previously mentioned animals, it's the Cape Buffalo who wouldn't want to mess with you.